Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I hope you're having a great day. So today's video is going to be the five habits that have changed my life and this is more of a self-care video. If you guys do like this video, make sure to throw a thumbs up down below and do not forget to subscribe if you are new here and let's get straight on into the video. First habit that I'm going to talk about is having me time and not feeling guilty about it. With people nowadays, we tend to feel guilty about spending a day to ourselves or, you know, we feel like we have to be around others or we kind of have to do things for others in order for everyone to be happy but yourself. I definitely made it a habit to actually have at least one to two days or, you know, a month or maybe even more to myself. Even though you're probably saying, Kira, you live alone. You have every day to yourself. Not necessarily, you know, I... Obviously, I work a lot, I go to the gym, I, you know, I'm with my family, my boyfriend, and I, you know, you want that day to yourself where it's like, all right, what does Kira want to do? Does she want to go for a walk? Does, you know, and I know I'm talking about myself in the third person, but I'm just putting that into a little bit of an example for you guys so you kind of get what I'm saying because it's really hard to explain um, for you to understand on how I feel about this is never ever feel guilty with having your own time or trying to make a habit of having your own time. So that's definitely one of the habits that have changed my life is to not feel guilty that I have these couple of hours to myself so I'm going to do what I want to do instead of doing something for somebody else. Which yes, you know, you can definitely show gratitude towards a lot of people and you can help others but at the same time, are you doing anything for you? So yeah, that has definitely changed my life. The next thing that is changing my life that is part of one of my habits is to go to the gym and stick with a gym schedule. Right now, I just started working out again and I kind of slacked off during the winter and I didn't feel really good about it. Kind of always felt like, what am I doing? I need to get back in the gym. I was, I had so much more energy when I was, you know, exercising and I felt good about myself. So I've been going for about a couple weeks now and I feel good even though I, you know, Obviously, I still need to work on what I'm eating and stuff like that, but but with me sticking sticking to going to the gym every day after work, even though I do wake up at 5 in the morning, I always, always now go to the gym right when I get out of work around 3, 4-ish, depending what time I get out. I always bring my clothes with me and I make it a habit to get my butt to the gym. The next on my list is adapting a minimalist lifestyle that has not only changed my life, but it has changed my perspective on life in general. And uh, minimalism, if you guys do not know, it, it's a lot more deeper than just owning less things. It's actually knowing the value of life and knowing the value of that. We are only here for a short amount of time. And, you know, the best way to make out of it is to be the best you. If that makes any kind of sense, you guys, I know, I suck at doing these kind of videos when it comes to expressing myself, but um, I feel like once when you adapt a minimalist lifestyle, you will start to notice that your mind changes with not just purchases, but with life experiences and people and, you know, relationships and it's just, it's such an amazing lifestyle that I will never ever go back to the way I was before because I was really upset, I was sad, I was depressed, I was, you know, had a lot of anxiety and I didn't really know where my life is, was going. Yeah, you know, as of right now, I really don't know what I wanna do in life as for a job and stuff, but I'm okay with that. And I really wanna say that living a minimalist lifestyle made me feel less stress. It made me feel that it's okay to be different. Um, it actually makes me want to express my differences with others and it you know I used to be a really really shy person where I wouldn't even say hi to anybody because I was just that shy and I used to also be really sad and you know with me adapting this lifestyle this change you know it's not just with you know the stuff that I own it's also the people that I used to know and Yes, it's kind of harsh to even say that you got rid of the friends that you had, but when you realize what's more important in this world, which is, you know, what you feel and what you think of, 
and knowing that you are only on this earth for so long it's not that you're selfish it's just you have a certain amount of time to you know do things that you want to do you shouldn't be living everyone else's dream or everyone else's life or try to be like them i feel like minimalism has definitely or minimalist lifestyle has definitely taught me to be kira again so I know a little deep with that, but that has, I think out of everything that I have learned in the past 27 years of my life, I want to say that minimalism, a minimalist lifestyle has changed every aspect of me. And it's also, it's, it's an awesome habit to have, um, especially when you can carry it on to others. Not saying that you need to be fresh and ask people okay so are you gonna keep that book over there or why do you want that like just be nice about it um you know i think everyone needs to experience minimalism in their own way because we're all different and we all learn different we all think different so you know adapting a minimalist lifestyle is going to be different for everybody and i think everyone should at least try it and definitely incorporate it into a habit. Another habit that has changed my life is saving money. Being so smart to save a lot of money and, you know, not going, you know, online and purchasing every little makeup palette there is or, you know, not making dumb purchases, period. I have not made a dumb purchase since, I want to say, 2014, 15, around there. Um, and then right when around 2015, like the end of it, that's when I became a minimalist. But saving money is such an awesome habit to do and to have. And, you know, that's something that you can actually carry on. They should really teach a class of just how to save and all that stuff when it comes to banking and, you know, emergency funds. They should really teach that in high school because, you know, I could have definitely used something like that. What taught me how to save was all my mistakes was me not having money for to fix my cars me not having money to go to school or to pay books or anything like that just me not having money in general to do things that i actually had to do that were important and i had to borrow from other people so i feel like saving money and having emergency funds and all that is such an awesome habit to have and it has changed my life where you know I hear people at work stressing out that you know they had to get a, a an Uber or they had to get a ride for work because their car broke down and they have no money to fix it because this week's check goes to rent and in my head I'm like if you were just to save some money or that tax money that you just got last month you wouldn't be in this predicament obviously I don't say that because it's kind of mean and a little bit judgmental but it's the truth and a lot of people can't handle the truth so that's why I don't really say it to them but yes saving money has changed my entire life and has definitely took a weight off my shoulders the last habit that i have and that has changed my life is learning how to cook learning how to cook is awesome i never thought in a million years that i can cook these delicious meals and you know especially when you're sitting down and you're eating something that you cooked you know it's just like damn i made this no way like i used to be that person to go out to eat all the time to go to mcdonald's i was so guilty this is way before i was vegan um but also you know i i should have added being vegan into this lifestyle um i guess but i, I don't really consider vegan a habit i feel like it's a lifestyle change but um you know with learning how to cook it just opened my eyes to new recipes, new vegetables that I never thought I would try because I can make it with this sauce. And, you know, I feel like my creativity comes out a lot in the kitchen. And I guess I love to cook main meals, um, but I have a sweet tooth and I love, love to make cookies, vegan cookies. And I like to bake cakes and usually around people's birthdays and stuff, I make like vegan um cupcakes and you know little things like that and i just find it so much fun when you decorate them and of course dessert is like the best part of any holiday meal once everyone's done with the meal they are looking for the dessert so that is something that i just love that i picked up and it's really an awesome habit for me 
that changed my life because the minute I get to work, I go to the gym, I come home and I cook a meal. I cook a meal for supper and sometimes I, you know, ever since I started going to the gym, I, I eat um, supper at night. I used to just eat cereal, which is such a bad habit that I broke. If you guys want another, if you guys want a video of bad habits that I broke, let me know down below. Um, cause I had quite a few that I had broken. But yes, learning how to cook is not just an awesome habit, but it's an awesome skill. Cause I feel like you can take that skill and let others learn from it. Like your kids, you can teach them how to cook and kind of, it's like learning how to cook is like being, is learning how to be independent. You don't have to rely on someone to make you a nice meal or, you know, something like that. But anyways, you guys, I really hope you enjoyed this video and comment down below to let me know what your habits are that has changed your life. Um, if you have the same kind of habits, let me know. That would be awesome. I definitely love to talk to you guys and relate to you guys. So yeah. But on that note, I'm going to let you guys go and I will catch you in the next video. Bye.